in June 1944. I was with Company A of the 160th, and my rank was private. We landed on the Door Green Sector of Omaha Beach, the smallest but most heavily defended sector. Everybody around me was hit and killed. As we were running across the beach, the man on my right got shot in the chest, the man on my left got shot in the chest. So there was death all around me. I got shot in the rifle, and it fired once, and it broke in two pieces. And just then, an 88, a shell went off in front of me, blew his cheek over my ear. And for 32 hours, I suffered five serious wounds. I figured there's no sense, uh, to, you know, I might as well keep fighting. I went out to get a sergeant off the battlefield, and I got three pieces of shrapnel in the left side of my helmet into my skull. Uh, and when I left the beach, I received a bullet through my left foot. At uh, 12.30 in the morning, I received a bullet wound through my uh, left upper lip to take out my right upper jaw. The reason I kept on, I didn't think they'd be able to put me back together, and I just saw all my friends get killed on the beach, and I wanted revenge. I wanted to keep fighting. And at 11 a.m., a sniper or snipers opened up on the wounded. When they came to me, they shot me in the right knee. And the next one was going through here, but the destroyer McCook came offshore with his 10-inch guns and got rid of the German snipers. The knee injury was number five, and I was evacuated after that. I think uh, uh, the Lord was watching over me. I prayed on the beach. And I, I figured there was a mission for me. I found out later, one of the reasons for me being saved was I became a physician. And I saved a lot of lives. 